the one that's retroaction, we're going to turn our transformer to do. This is the final accelerator that I have. This is Zap, released by Hasbro, 1993, 1994. That is an orange uh, race car or something. Okay. And see, we've got a chromed engine there with the G2 Autobot logo, which is quite cool. It's like a foil sticker. Um, we have the G2 Autobot logo on his embed, well, embedded onto the. Uh, is that the right word? It's on the uh, pink windscreen there. As you can see, we've got the G2 Autobot logo. Logo and the word Autobot with registered trademark. Yeah, it's an orange and blue car, looks pretty cool. And you can see we've got chromed engine at the front, and that's about it. Right, so the transformer, what we're going to do is we're going to. Well, the engine just comes out. So now we've got the gun, the engine becomes the gun. And then, much like the others, I fold the legs out. There's a bit more to this one though, so what we're going to do next is they're coming out. We have to pull these apart. Well, I mean, you have to push those apart. And then you come in, and get the hands out, fold the elbow. And then you pull, then you fold down this chest piece, this chest plate, which has got a nice stick on it. You lift up the head. So that's the difference. And there we have it. That is Zap in robot mode. And now what we can do is we can give him his chromed gun, which looks pretty cool. Again, better than the Sky Scorchers, which only had uh, grey plastic for their weapons. These guys had the chromed weapons. But the Sky Scorchers probably had ultimately better robot modes. Yeah. There he is, that is Zap. And he's holding his weapon there, looks pretty cool. Got some nice uh, blue and is that pink stickers? Yeah, so. And he's even got a pink neon windscreen. But of course, though, he has the fantastic light piping. So let's get let's get that going. Of course, being a European exclusive, he's got the yeah, he's got the light piping. So. He's got a great head sculpt, just like some of the others. Not as good as Rapido's, but he still has the great light piping. You can see his eyes are glowing. That's something these European exclusives did really well. And again, this is another, well, former. Well, it was a European exclusive, but it was also released in the US with a different windscreen colour. It was green, and the eyes were black. So that's the only difference. So, yep, that has been rich. That has been uh, accelerated. Zap. That's it for the. That's it for the accelerators. I don't have scram. Uh, overall, they look quite good together. But this guy is probably one of the weaker ones because he has a habit of well, his head has a tendency to pop off because you have to push it up. And I've had the head come off a few times, so that's a bit of a pain trying to get the head to stay. Uh, it has a habit to just fall down and come off because it's only attached it's only, yeah, it's only pegged in there so that's a bit weird uh, the head sculpt's not as good as the others but he's got a more complicated transformation you know, he's got a chest plate that folds down everything so that's kind of cool and he's got a very cool car mode but I, I don't think it's as good as the others I think this is probably the my least favourite but he looks cool nonetheless so yeah, that has been Zap pretty cool definitely get him if you can find him again I got these from Belgium, I believe, these uh, accelerators, and I still am miss I'm still missing the third, the fourth one, so fortunately I can't complete and got the set, so if I do, if I do end up with the fourth one somehow, uh, I will make a video on that and complete the accelerators review. But for now, this has been the accelerators review. See you next time. Thanks for watching.